just thought I'd make a quick video in before the whole busy schedule happens. <laughs> anyway, just got 44 Batman in a video, and um, this is going to be a video response to Sean Blackford, who did a video, did a comment mention on the uh, 10 WWE match completion DVDs, and uh, I thought I'd do mine just to start off with to get the trend going. Um, I don't own that many completion DVDs, but I managed to find 10 to match her. Uh, it's all sort of thing, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna get started with it now. First up. For number 10, we've got Triple H King of Kings. And uh, we get like a handful of matches on there. Um, the Hall's Bar match on there is quite good. Uh, and also the 2 out of 3 falls match with Shawn Michaels from Armageddon or 2. And yeah, so yeah, that's at number 10, Triple H King of Kings. And at number 9, we've got the greatest cage matches of all time. Um, some of the matches on there are not particularly good for the time being. The SummerSlam one, ninety ninety seven between Mankind and Hunter Hair sounds like I mean, that was good. And the same as Stone Cold Mr. McMahon one from St. Valentine's Day Massacre. And then you got Randy Orton versus Nick Rick Flair from Tabor Tuesday or four. And then all those stuff and so on. So yeah, let's get as much of all time. Um. Uh, at number eight, we've got the False Count Anywhere set, which um, if you're a big fan of hardcore wrestling, this um, this Blu-ray should be for you. Even though it's got mixed reviews and all that kind of stuff, but I'm a big fan of those sort of matches. Um, probably the best one is on there. It's the unsanctioned street fight between Shawn Michaels and Triple H, and all that, and. Uh, Sting Cactus Jack match from Beach Blast 1992 was good as well. And so, yeah. I wish I could have had more, but by the way, WWE is going in this direction these days. And you can see why. Um, right, at number seven, I believe. Yep, seven. We got the best of the King of the Ring. Which also. The match, set of matches could. You can find on there, particularly Street Fight between Shane McMahon and Kurt Angle. I mean, what a match that was. Particularly, there's a few little miss ups in that one, particularly with the glass. Everyone would know by now. And on there, you also get the Hell in the Cell match between Undertaker and Mankind, which everyone will know by now. <laughs> and uh, also, you get the rise of Brock Lesnar when he won his first King of the Ring. And it goes on to the later ones, so yeah. And then at is that number six, we got the best of Monday Night Raw Volume Two. And because you always want to go back to your old WCW days and to find some moments that you were at match and you can remember on there. I know there's a few that I quite liked on there. I have to check to see which ones that are on there. Just give me a minute. Um, yeah, DDP and Chris Jericho was good. Along with the uh, Booker Team and Matt, Randy Savage match. Those are the matches that are pretty good. So, yeah. That's at number six, the Nitro Volume Two set. Now onto number five, we've got the Undertaker's deadliest matches. It's more like a special stipulation matches that the Undertaker was in. Like I said, the Hell in a Cell match he has with Mankind is on this as well, along with his one with Randy Orton, the Inferno match against Kane. And he also got um, the Buried Alive match from Rock Bottom '98 on there as well. So yeah. That's at number five, the Undertaker's Deadliest Matches. And at number four, we've got the Hell in a Cell set. And everyone else is wondering, this is signed by uh, Mick Foley. When I met him back in April, of course. If you haven't checked out my other videos, me meeting, me meeting Mick Foley, go check them out. It's basically got every Hell in a Cell match up to... Um, I think it was um, Undertaker vs. Batista back in... Um, 
Survivor Series 07. But my favourite one out of the whole lot would definitely have to be from No Way Out 2000 with Triple H vs Cactus Jack because I remember being at the first pay-per-view I ever watched. And uh, that's my earliest memory of watching wrestling, to be honest. So, yeah, it's Helen the Cell in at number four. Number three, we've got uh, Brett the Hitman Hart, the Dungeon Collection. And you get, as Sean Blackwood would say in this video, the match on there on Sun, Sun City Showdown against Austin was absolutely brilliant. And you also get his match on there with Tagamas 2, a.k.a. The Late, Mitsuhawa Misawa, um, was pretty good. So, that's worth checking out if you get either on DVD or Blu-ray. So that's number three. And number two, um, I'm going to go with the best pay-per-view matches of 2011. Because basically because most of the matches you find on there are really out fantastic. Particularly this little match you see on the top there. Of course that famous night in Chicago. And you also get the No Holds Bar match between Undertaker and Triple H from WrestleMania 27. And then you get Elimination Chamber matches, it's, you also get. I can't remember what else was on there. Oh, yeah, the last match in there between the Big Show and Mark Henry with the whole ring breaks thing. That was really good. So that's number two. And at number one, we, on the match compilation set, we've got the best of WCW and Monday Nitro, the first one. Because basically, you get a lot of matches on there that I remember on there the most, like. The final ever match on Nitro between Sting and Ric Flair. And you also get the championship uh, showdown between Goldberg and Hulk Hogan. Um, also, also on there, Larry Lex Luger won his first WCW. Hulk Hogan, Lex Luger won the title from Hulk Hogan on here. And yeah, so there. Those are my top 10 match confirmation DVDs. So yeah, that was my that them out of the way. Also shout out to Sean Blackford, who I'm sending this video response to. So um yeah. So, so this is Joe Scott 44. Signing out. Peace.